in terms of this evening's vote, though, uh, the Fianna Fáil group will not be proposing um, any candidate um, either for the mayoral position or the deputy mayoral position. And I will be abstaining from the vote um, on the basis that it is consistent really with the approach that we have taken um, and I have taken since elected uh, in 2009. I think that uh, as we gather here for the AGM of the City Council, it's important that we note that we're not talking about the letters that our constituents got today informing them of the increases in the Greyhound bin charges, and we're not talking about the residents of Priory Hall, and we're not talking about uh, the fact that we're not picking up rubbish or we can't paint lampposts as a City Council because we don't have any money. We're dealing with a ceremonial role, and, and this is through no fault of the individuals who are being put forward tonight or indeed who have served in the role previously. But I think as a council in this economic environment we have to stop and we have to take stock of the fact that the role is costing the city the best part of a million euros a year and that this city if it is to compete on a global basis as we are trying to do, we need a real leader for the city with executive powers who can address the real problems that are facing the ordinary citizens of Dublin and who can champion the city as a destination for business and for investment and for tourism. So on that basis, Lord Mayor, I would ask you in the Labour Group to encourage and demand of your own partners in government a directly elected Lord Mayor or a directly elected Mayor for the city of Dublin. Thank you.